So, about Emmy. Nothing. Emmy. The name? It's the, isn't that the sleep thing? Honestly, nothing. M E. Uh, nothing. Nothing really. If you had to guess what Emmy is, what would you guess? A disease. Um, sounds like some sort of disorder. Don't know what it could be. Um, I don't know, it sounds like a failure in organs or something. Um, like an illness, I'd say. No, it's like a muscular thing, I think, because something to do with your joints and muscles and it aching and hurting. Sounds like a drug. Would you like to know what any is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, sure. My name's Vicky. Um, I work with older people age 65 and over. Have you ever dealt with someone who has ME? I have dealt with somebody who has ME. Um, it's quite a difficult condition because it causes extreme tiredness um, and lots of other um, aches and pains, not being able to sl sleep, um, not being able to stand for long periods. Um, and it also affects memory um, and yeah, quite a nasty uh, neurological disease. My name is Callum Bowers. Year 11, we were around year 11. I got ill before my GCSEs and that was due to a virus similar to glandular fever. It wasn't full on glandular fever, but it was something very similar. And then after that, when you have virus or similar to glandular fever, you get some fatigue afterwards. You get f fatigue that's stuck around for quite a while. And it was on and again and off again. And this, over the winter, it sort of felt a bit better. But then during the summer, it got a bit worse. And I think that's due to the exertion during the summer and the heat got a bit worse. So we had to go to the hospital, not the hospital, doctors, and then the hospital. And it's a um, diagnosis through. Uh, it's a diagnosis through elimination you have to be tested for r array of different things because there's no ME virus it's not a thing that can be cured or treated so you have to go well if, if, it's, if you're not affected with any of these other symptoms or any of these other afflictions you must have ME which took a while to diagnose me with but it was suspected since for about six months before I actually finally got a diagnosis when I actually got to see a no, professional who deals with ME cases a lot. Is there one type of ME? I think there's one type of ME but it has different symptoms in different people so some people may get um, not be able to sleep whereas other people m may find that they sleep all the time. Uh, some people have um, cramps in their legs or aches in their backs and other people wouldn't get that. How does it affect everyday life? I can do little else other than um, lay here and use my laptop, watch YouTube, play video games. Difficult for me. I try to help around, try to do chores, maybe hang up washing or things like that but I can't do much else. I'm supposed to have hoovered downstairs for the last two weeks now and I can't stand up for long enough and move about the entirety of downstairs. It's so easy to lay here or sit here and just do stuff that could be considered fun or wasting time, video games, internet, whatever. But as soon as you try to sit down at a desk, and you try to start doing work and you pull out a book 
you, you can't focus, you can't, you're suddenly so much more tired because you don't realise when you don't have this how much effort it takes to do something serious and how much effort it just takes to do something because of fun and re relaxing. Grades and maths, computer science and psychology, and a better way to get maths grade is to redo two of my AS exams this year and those were in May and it's just become March. I haven't done, I, I have not been able to do any revision for it yet. My own dad's only just accepted that it's actually a condition that I suffer from it for the first several months up to maybe a year. He just he kept asking, are you sure it's not me just being a teenager? What do you struggle with the most? Sorry. Okay. Give me that. What does it do to someone on a daily basis? So if, for example, on a daily basis, um, they might not be able to go to work or they might not be able to go to college. Um, they would feel incredibly tired. Um, they may sleep in the day, but it doesn't really help. Um, again, pains in the legs, pains in the backs, but in your back. Um, and also, sometimes it can cause um, tiredness a couple of days later so for example if you've been out you felt all right and you've gone out for the day a couple of days later it might catch up with you and your me or your tiredness levels will be you know really bad and you'd have to sort of take to your bed not feeling like i'm a waste of space that's what i struggle with the most but that's not a specific thing that's what I have to deal with. And I mean it's, you can't say what do you struggle with, what things do you struggle with the most as an actual things to do because if there's something I struggle with it, I don't do it. I struggle with doing work, I don't do work. I struggle with some chores, I don't do chores. Do you get support from medical professionals? Te technic technically. What do you mean by technically? It means, was it September, November, October? I don't know. October, September, November, I went to see the professional, the head of whatever ME department they have in this area. And he's the one who diagnosed me with ME. And considering I might have had that for the entirety of year 12 and only went to see him year 12 and a bit of year 11 and I only went to see him in the beginning of year 13 is a bit showing of how underfunded and understaffed the area is but I were explaining what treatments are available and now I'm on another waiting list. Can you tell me what treatments are available? CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy is a large treatment and you've got stuff like physical therapy and physiotherapy. What is ME? It is a neurological disorder, so it, it probably affects the immune system um, and could just cause extreme tiredness.